Hi, welcome back. This is Professor Ridge. Today's lesson 7.4, Dividing ra Radical Expressions. So, we're going to start off with the quotient rule. And it's basically the same idea as the product rule. But if you have the same index for both um, fractions, then you can divide the numbers inside, or you can actually work the rule the other direction. If you're dividing um, inside the radicand, if you have a fraction inside, you can split it up and divide the two radicals. Okay, so basically, again, you can use this rule from left to right or right to left. Okay, so number 10, we got um, the square root of 81 25ths. So again, typically what I do is I first look at that fraction inside. If I can reduce it, I reduce it. If I can't, then I split it up using the quotient rule. So that's square root of 81 over square root of 25. And square root of 81, that's 9 times 9, so 9 comes out. 25 is 5 times 5, so you got two 5s inside. Makes one 5 outside. And then that fraction can't be reduced, so we're done. All right, let's look at number um, 12. 12 is cube root of 1,000 27ths. So we're going to use the same rule again. We're going to split it up into cube root of the top divided by the cube root of the bottom. And 1,000 is 10 times 10 times 10. So three tens inside make one ten outside. Cube root of 27. 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. So three threes inside make one three outside. So we get 10 thirds. Now we can also use this rule in the other direction. So if we look at um, square root of 700x divided by square root of 7x, if I notice, okay, they're both square roots, so that's important to note. And if I notice that, hey, if, if I can make this um, one fraction inside the radical sign, I can reduce that. I can divide those numbers. So 700 divided by 7 is 100. And the x's cancel, and then the square root of 100 is 10 times 10, which is just 10. Okay, so if I did the same thing with number 30, we have um, the cube root of 35 divided by the cube root of 5. So if I notice it, if I put this back together using the rule in reverse, and I can reduce that fraction, then I'm going to do it. So I put it back together. 35 divided by 5 is 7, and that doesn't simplify. So we're done. So again, if I can put it together and reduce the fraction, or simplify the fraction, I'm going to do that. So they're both fifth roots. 2ab, negative 2. So it's going to give me fifth root. 64 divided by 2 is 32, a to the 10, and 28 minus a minus 2 is 30. Now 32 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 5 twos, so 2 comes out. 10 divided by 5 is 2, remainder 0. 30 divided by 5 is 6, remainder 0. So that's going to be my answer, 2a squared b to the 6. One thing, part of uh, simplifying ra radical expressions is what's called um, rationalizing the denominator. So on number 42, if we have the square root of 7 halves, um, that fraction doesn't simplify, so there's nothing you can do there. So we use the quotient rule the way it's written, and we split it up, square root of 7 over square root of 2. And then the problem here is... Um, you're not allowed to have a radical in the denominator of fraction. So what we do this process that we multiply by 1 so that we can get that square root on the bottom to cancel. So whatever that square root is, square root of 2, you're going to multiply by square root of 2. On top we get square root of 14. On the bottom we get square root of 2 times 2. Two twos inside make one 2 outside. 
And then we're done. We get square root of 14 over 2. So now here's where it kind of confuses people. If I wanted to do the um, cube root the cube root of say seven halves what that would have been was cube root of seven over cube root of two and for the two to come out of the of the cube root I'm going to need two more of them I need two times two which is four so that's going to give me a cube root of seven times two Let's write it as 2 times 2, which is cube root of 2 times 2 times 2. So the top is cube root of 28, and the bottom will be 3 2's inside make 1 2 outside. Okay? So that's how you do it. Let's look at number 46. So I have cube root of 2 ninths. So it's going to be cube root of 2 over cube root of 9. Now with this one, we're not going to do cube root of 9 times 9. We're actually going to think of um, 9 factored, and cube, uh, 9 is 3 times 3. So I only need one more 3 to complete it. That's kind of the way I think of it. Because I need three threes inside to make one 3 outside. So the top's going to be cube root of 6, and the bottom I got 1, 2... Three threes inside, that makes one three outside. Okay, so I can skip that step of writing it down, but that's what's going on. Alright, look at 49. Now let's see if you're getting this. So it's already split up for me. Fourth root of 5y to the 6 um, over fourth root of 9x. Now the top. Um, I, I can get 2, 6 divided by 4 is 1, remainder 2. The bottom, nothing simplifies, but again, I want to think of 9 as 3, as three times 3. So for me to complete this, remember, I need 4 of a kind because it's 4th root. So I need 2 more 3s and 3 more x's. Where we do the bottom, you got to do the top. So now we're going to get y, fourth root of 5 times 3 times 3, times x, times, I'm just going to write it cubed, y squared. And on the bottom, see we're going to have four threes and four x's so a three is going to come out a four is going to, I mean an x is going to come out so we're going to get y fourth root of 45 x cubed y squared over 3x and that's the final answer for that one Okay, so again, before we, um, before we try to rationalize the denominator here, let's, let's go ahead and reduce this. 75 is 3 times 5 times 5. And if you want, we could have left the um, variables under exponent with exponents and use exponent rules. So we're going to get square root of 7x over 25y the fourth now I'm going to split it up square root of 7x or 25y the fourth which is going to be square root of 7x 25 is 5 times 5, so 5 comes out. y squared. 
And then since the bottom's rational now, we don't have to rationalize it. So we're, fi we're fine. We don't have to do anything more. So always see if you can simplify first before you try to rationalize it. All right, let's look at um, 63. Or actually 64. We got square root of 12 over square root of 5y. So I can see a 2 is going to come out. Nothing comes out of the bottom one. So now I have to rationalize the denominator. So I need two 5s, two y's. So I need, a, I need one more 5, one more y. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So the top square root of 3 times 5 times y, which is 15y. The bottom, you have two 5s inside. There's one in here, one in here. That makes two. That was the whole purpose. So what? Two fives inside make one five outside. And then same thing for the y's. Two y's inside make one y outside. And you cannot reduce something that's outside with something that's inside. So I'm just looking at the outside numbers. Two and five, nothing reduces, so I leave it. Okay, let's try one more and see how you do. I'm sorry, this said rationalize the numerator, not the denominator. So 64, rationalize the numerator. I should read the directions. Now, the only um, time you would actually do this is um, sometimes in calculus when we're, when we're um, doing certain things. Instead of rationalizing the denominator, which is considered simplified, we actually um, rationalize in the numerator instead, which is going the opposite of simplifying. But sometimes, sometimes you do that to be able to work with numbers. You do the opposite of simplifying. Just like when you add two fractions, you have to have common denominators. So instead of having the reduced form, you need to make like one half be three six. So same idea. So for 64, what I should have done, since the directions are rationalized the numerator, I should have, um, okay, so I'm going to start at the 2 square root of 3 over square root of 5y. I want the, I want the 3 to come out, so the numerator is going to be rationalized. So I need one more 3. So two threes inside make one three outside. So I get six square root of 15y. Six over square root of 15y. And now you see the numerator is a rational number. No square root. All right, so that completes the lesson for uh, 7.4. Uh, go to my math lab, complete your exercise there, and I'll see you next time.